welcome back to stylish nigeria youtube channel thanks so much to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys for supporting my channel i really do appreciate today i'm going to be showing you how to actually draft um uh, a bat wing um gown someone actually sent it to me it's a cross cross like and bat wing and gown someone or a, a subscriber of mine sent it to me so that's just what i'm going to be showing you how to draft it's really simple and easy i'm going to make it as easy as possible for anybody to be able to do this if you are new to my channel please um you're welcome very very and highly welcome please subscribe and then um like this video and share it also and do not forget to hit on the notification bell to get an update whenever i upload a new um, video so now let's just get started so guys so i have my, my um, paper folded into two because you could see and um, the front is crossed and v so i have my paper so in uh, measuring out the, your, your measurement on how to fold your paper you use your sleeve measurement that's from this point to this point so i've said this a lot in lo most of my videos so you measure it where you actually want the sleeve to be so that is what you are going to use and mine i folded mine at uh, 18 inches so this is what i'm going to be using now so the first thing i'm going to do this is the the shoulder line and then the bust line and then the waist line so i'll measure out and the neckline measurement so i'm going to be making use of 3.5 for the neck line measurement so this is my 3.5 so from this and 3.5 i'm just going to be slanting it from this point i'm going to be slanting it up to this point because i want it cross so i could decide to make use of four inches since it's going to be crossing, so when it crosses, that will just take care of it because it is not, it's actually not a deep and cross. So it's not like it is a wrap and top. So it's just crossing little at the down point. So I'm just going to I'm just going to do this and then I'll cut it out. So I'm just going to do this. So before I cut it out, I'm just going to take and measure out the other parts of this so for this the shoulder measurement is not really an issue so i'm, I'm not using it so from this uh, neckline point i'm just going to come to this end i'll measure out one inch which i'm going to be slanting for my uh, shoulder slant or slope rather so i've sloped it out so the next thing i'm going to be doing now I'm going to be measuring out and the 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 sleeve so you can see that the sleeve is the, the back wing is round so i'm just going to come to this point for my sleeve opening so i'm going to make use of like uh, six inches six between six or seven inches for my sleeve opening so it depends on how wide you actually want it to be or i could even make use of eight inches so from this point i'm just going to come in by one inch the the essence of the one inch is just to enable me and curve I just want to make a round curve here so from this point i'm going to come in i'm just going to come down to this point because i'm going to be blending it so i'm using six inches so this is just what i'm doing so you can see what i'm doing so this is just the essence of the six inches i'm just trying to blend to make a round curve to, to form like that um you see the, the the round curve that you have on it so this is just the essence of this uh, measurements that i'm taking so guys, we're just undone with the front piece of our batwing um, blouse, uh, that, that batwing gown. So I'm just going to cut, cut it out now. So the first thing I'm just going to cut, I'll cut out the neckline first. So this is the neckline. And then the next thing I'm going to cut out, I'm going to cut out the round and part. So I'm just going to come to this point like this. So you notice what I'm trying to do. So the next thing I'm going to follow it up from the shoulder slope point. So guys, we're done. So this is the front. This is the front. So you can see it is looking like what we have on the picture. The next thing I'm going to do now, you are going to make a pleats on it, just tiny pleats that will serve. So from this point, you are just going to measure two inches and then you start your pleats. You could and decide to make a three tiny pleats. So it depends on what you want. You could decide to make a three tiny pleats. So with this, I'm going to be cutting out the back piece. So I'm just going to go back there. So okay, guys. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be uh, cutting out the back and piece. But for the back, remember for the front, I actually used uh, four inches for the neckline. For the back, I'm not going to be making use of four inches. Because that extra one inch, that's what is going to use to cross from this down point. 
so if you do this one four inches it's going to be too wide so we're going to make use of three inches or 2.5 so it depends on as the case may be so that's what i'm using three inches and then the depth i'm just going to use 1.5 inch depth so i'm just going to mark it like this and then i'll cut it out i'll cut out the neck line like this So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this to make it simple and then I'm going to place it like this on this point and then I'll trace out the rest and parts that I'm going to trace out. So I'm just going to trace it all out. So I have my back piece opened up like this. I'm just going to take this like this and then I'll place it here. So I'm going to take the other piece also. Okay guys, so you could so I have the front and piece now. So for the back um for the back, if you are going to be using a fabric that is not stretchy, so I advise you put a zipper. So in doing that, you just open up this um, back piece and then you attach your zipper to it. But for this, if you are not, if you are going to be using a stretchy fabric, you actually don't need a zipper. And when you are stitching, you are just going to comb. You remember the five inches, five to six inches that we measure. So you are just going to comb from those points like this. You measure out your sleeve opening. So depends on how wide and open you want your sleeve to be, you could set to use 8 or 9 inches. And then from this point, you are going to stitch. You stitch up to this point. So it depends. So you could do this in two ways. You could set to stitch it. You could set not to stitch it. So you are just going to stitch it up to like this point. That's if you are going to be stitching. So you measure where you actually want your sleeve opening to be. And then you see. So you see where I'm stitching to. So I just stitch about and 3 inches from the sleeve opening. So okay, four inches. So you just stitch from this point, and then you have you create your sleeve opening here. But if you don't want, you could decide to just leave it like this, and then you attach the down part. So for the down part, the next thing that I'm going to do, you are going to make use of a band. So you could decide this is optional. You could decide to make use of a band. So I'm not going to be deliberating on this on this video. So if you are going to be making use of a band, so you measure. From this point so I'm just going to put notch so you understand how you're going to stitch it when stitching so I'm just going to, to put it like this together and then I'm, I'll notch this point like this so you can see what I've done so I just created like a V here to this point like this so I created uh, like a V to this point. So from this point, now what you are going to do now, you could decide to stitch, to leave this um, part open. That's this point. From this point to this point, you leave it open. And then you stitch those points like this. This is where you are going to be attaching your band. to. So your band is going to be starting from this point to this point. So you could see how it is. So I hope you could see it properly. So I hope my camera will just um, capture it. So this is the notch that I made here. So from this point, and you attach your your band to it. So the next thing that you are going to do after attaching your band is you cut your skirt pattern. So you are just going to cut your skirt pattern. I'm not going to be deliberating on it. This is just a simple straight and pencil and skirt pattern. So that's just what was actually done for the for the down part of this dress so the emphasis was just the top part so that was what she actually wanted me to do the top part for her how to achieve it so i'm just going to lay them all out for you to see to make it easier for you so this is the band and then this is the skirt and pattern okay guys so this is uh, your regular pencil skirt pattern so i'm just going to drop a link down for you to be able to in case you don't know how to do this so how to make a skirt pattern so i'll drop the link so you could watch it and then be able to figure it out so this is uh, the down part and then this is the band and then this is the top part so i just want you to understand what i did with this point this point so it is from this point this is where you are going to be stitching so you could decide to if you want it fuller you could decide to pleat 
you could decide to pleat it more so it depends on what you want you could decide to pleat it more but make sure you create your sleeve opening you could use between eight and nine inches depends on how wide you want it to be and then you fix your band on this point and then you fix your skirt on the band so guys this is just it this is actually how this and bat wing um gown was actually done so if you find this video illustration helpful please do not hesitate to comment i, I want to get your comments yeah so subscribe if you have not done so already so thank you so much guys i'll see you in my next video so you could send in your pictures send in clean clear pictures to me and with time i'll actually treat them this one was sent to me a long time ago but i still eventually treat them so just keep sending to me so thank you so much i'll see you guys <laughs>